everyone and welcome. I am Heather and this is another humble experience. Today I'm going to be baking. This is one of my grandma's recipes uh, that I had growing up and I will be making banana nut bread today. So let me run through the ingredients with you. I'm going to start off by creaming um, some sugar. It's three quarters of a cup to a half a cup of shortening. And then what I'll be doing is adding the one egg, three tablespoons of sour milk. And all that is is regular milk that you add a teaspoon of uh, vinegar in or lemon juice uh, to the milk and it curdles. And then I have four ripe bananas. What I do with those is when I buy a bunch at the store and they start turning a little bit riper than I like to eat them. I just put them in the freezer and then I just pull out, uh, you know, three, four, uh, depending on my recipe that I'm going to be um, doing. So this is four bananas and I mash them um, and it's roughly a cup. So you can do two thirds of a cup to, a, you know, right around a cup. It's not, you know, be exact with the bananas. And then what I have here is a half of a teaspoon of both baking soda and baking powder and then um, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and then I have some nuts um, I did walnuts this time sometimes I'll do uh, pecans and I um, just took this little thing and ground them up and that's uh, roughly a half a cup if you don't like nuts you don't need to put them in there it's not a big deal so let's oh and then I have two cups of flour that I'll be using just regular all-purpose flour uh, nothing spectacular with that so let's begin I'm gonna take um, the shortening here and scoop it out of my measuring cup and then I'll be adding uh, the sugar to it. Let me just scrape this off real quick. And then I'll be putting it on the mixer. These mixers come in really handy, especially if you're doing a lot of baking. I've tried other brands, but this one has seemed to be the workhorse that I've needed it to be. Let me start that up. So what I'm going to do is just let this cream for a few minutes and then um, we're going to add the, I'll scrape it down and then add um, my egg and um, the others. Alright, so that looks pretty cream. Everything, all creaming is um, mixing those two together. So what I'm going to do now, scrape that off a little bit and scrape it out of my bowl just so it's not stuck to the sides. I'm going to add in my egg. And my milk. Along with my banana here. And then I'm just going to mix that up. One more time before the um, before I put in the flour 
and then uh, the other ingredients here. I'm just getting that banana started melting a little bit, defrosting. And then back, back on the mixer here. And that looks about good. Let me see that it's a little runny. Not a big deal. I'm gonna put in my dry ingredients now. Get that tub of flour over here. And it's two cups of just all-purpose flour. I just did that till it started coming together. So I'm going to mix in the nuts by hand. And then some variations of this, you can add some chocolate chips to it. Um, I've seen those recipes as well. Like I said, you can leave out the nuts if you wanted to. And this will make one loaf, one large loaf, or those little pans, typically they're um, disposable. Those little pans, um, it'll make three of those. And I have preheated my oven to uh, 350. And I've adjusted my rack. And I just have it in the center of my oven. Let me get those nuts in there. I haven't made this recipe in a long time and since it's snowing again uh, we're we're getting a lot of snow here in Michigan but I figured baking would be a good good thing to do tonight and it's gonna be a fairly thick batter it's not a thin, thin batter by all means and like I said I I just greased my pan all I did was take some shortening um, a baggie or a plastic glove, dip it in there, and, and I just went around the sides and the edges. And this bread, it'll take about 45 minutes to an hour to bake on 350. And once it's, once it's done, um, let it cool completely before you cut it. And it's always, it's, it, it always slices better like the next day as well. I'm just putting everything in there, making sure it gets in the corners. I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. Let me get this little extra bit off here. And then I will see you back as soon as it's done in about 45 minutes. All right, so it's been close to an hour. So let me check on that banana nut bread. And it looks like it's done. I'm going to take a toothpick and just check to make sure there's it's not doughy or anything. A couple crumbs are okay. That looks good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cool in the pan for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to turn it out onto a cooling rack and let it finish cooling the rest of the way. And then I will be slicing it and enjoying some of it. All right, I am back. It's been about 30 minutes that my banana nut bread has sat in this pan. So I'm going to just take a little butter knife 
and run, run it around the edges just to make sure that it doesn't stick when I try and take it out. That's something you don't want. I've had that happen before. So warm on the bottom. There we go. Wow, and that looks really, really good. I'm going to cut off a little piece. I can't wait. As I'm telling myself, it'll just help the, uh, I'll just help it cool a little bit. There you go. One look at that. The smells amazing. Just how I remembered it. So good. Now this is this is more of a bread um, than some of the other banana nut bread recipes are out there. I've had some where they're almost like a desserty type cake, um, cake type of bread. This is not what that is, but it's really good. And when it cools off, I'm gonna. Have some with a little bit of butter spread on top, and just just as I remember. So be adventurous. Give it a try. Try something new. Give me a like. Drop me a note in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching. This has been another humble experience, and I am Heather.